what's going on guys this is me Ron and welcome to the new video in this video I'm going to talk about the roadmap for computer science student when you take admission in any college or university you may have the dream of being programmer or developer in reputed company or start your own startup company in future in order to achieve your dream you should study hard and learn as many as technology as you can so let's talk about the minimum requirement for computer science student to be a future programmer number one is DSN algo that means data structure and algorithm you should have sound knowledge on data structure and algorithm Algorithm. data structure is all about structuring of data and the algorithm means step by step solution of a problem the things you should know about data structure and algorithm are stack queue link list circular link list graph tree sorting algorithm sorting algorithm and time and space complexity of an algorithm and so on so while practicing data structure and algorithm please uh, use c plus plus or java as your primary language and number two is programming language knowing as much as programming language as you can is the strong part of every computer science student but you should specialize in at least one programming language like c c plus plus java python or c sharp you may need to solve the problem in any of the above mentioned language while you are sitting in coding round now you are at the period of the emerging uh, machine learning and artificial intelligence so knowing about data science machine learning and artificial intelligence will be the plus point for you you should have the knowledge of technical subject like electronics device and circuit logic circuit operating system computer graphics computer architecture software engineering and database management system the emerging programming language are kotlin rust and go so have a look at this programming language also after entering into any software company you may have the responsibility of the particular field like web application mobile application and so on or before entering any software company you have the interest in certain field of software industry so at this current scenario the booming fields are mobile application web application machine learning and artificial intelligence so let's talk about web development you should know two things in web development if you are inclined towards web number one is front end it means how the website or web application should look like when the user open your website or web application in web browser it includes technology or languages like html css and javascript there are many library and framework for javascript we will talk later on that html is all about defining documents css is all about beautifying documents css have the responsibility to make any website responsive the popular css framework is bootstrap and the javascript is all about events like what happened or what should the website display when user click on any button in summary front end is all about designing number two second thing you should know is back end back end includes things like the name itself explain behind the scene activities it includes database architecture of website or web application back end simply include responsibility of writing web application logic and integration with the front end the commonly used back end languages are php asp.net java python and node.js if you want to be a web developer you should have knowledge of at least one framework framework lets you build dynamic robust and more secure web application the popular frameworks are angular which is developed by google you can use either typescript or javascript to write your web application in angular react.js it is a javascript library developed by facebook you have to have a knowledge of javascript to use it if you are psp developer then you should try laravel to write your web application next is asp.net mbc which is a popular framework to write web application using c sharp django is popular framework for python developer to write web application ruby on rails is popular framework for ruby developer so here you should learn one lesson that is to work with any framework you should have sound knowledge of respect programming language if you want to be a mobile app developer you should know the following programming language if you want to be a native Android developer you should have the knowledge of Java or Kotlin language currently Google is focusing on Kotlin rather than Java because Google have some issue going with Oracle company which own the Java programming language if you want to be a native iOS developer you should have knowledge of Swift or objective C but Apple now focus on Swift language if you want to write the single code that works for both iOS and Android you should try cross-platform framework like Flutter which is developed by Google and the language used to write application is Dart which is similar to Java language another is react native developed by Facebook which use JavaScript as a language and the other is Xamarin currently owned by Microsoft which use C as a language to build an application 
If you want to go to the Apple or like software for Mac, iOS, iPadOS or Apple Watch, you should learn Swift or Objective-C as your primary language. And the next thing you should know is database technology. There are currently two types of database technology famous for. One is SQL. SQL is also of two types. One is server-based and another one is file-based. Server-based include DBMS like SQL Server, MySQL, Oracle and so on. These all are relational database and SQLite is a self-contained DBMS which is a file-based SQL technology. Another technology is a no SQL which means non-SQL or not only SQL. These databases are easier in scaling. You may not define the schema at the beginning like we do in relational database. We define tables and number of rows before storing anything in relational database but no SQL have no such mechanism to store data. It is stored data in documents similar to JSON object or key value pair or table row and dynamic column or node and edge. So there are four types of NoSQL database. Popular DBMS for NoSQL is MongoDB. The popular OEB stack are LAMP which stands for Linux, Apache, MySQL and PSP and the another one is MIN which stands for Mongo, ExpressJS, AngularJS and NodeJS. There are so many other things you should know or better to know for your knowledge and future. But all I mentioned here is basic or mandatory that you should know if you are dreaming or planning to be a future programmer. So that's it in this video guys. If you like this video, share this video with your friends so that they can know about the basic requirements to be a programmer and give thumbs up which really motivates us to create such videos and stay connected with this channel. In order to stay connected with this channel, subscribe this channel and thank you once again for watching this video. Have a good day. Bye bye.